Ladies and gentlemen, here is a fifth practice question uh, with the TI-84 Plus calculator on determining accumulation. And so uh, this is another application of integration. So here's, um, here's the first question. The water flowing in a stormwater pond during a rain event is blah, 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 meters cubed per second. Uh, so I know that's a rate because it's meters cubed per second. After six seconds, there were 19.2 meters cubed of water in the pond. How much water was there in the pond after 13 seconds? Okay, so let's think about this. Um, so it looks to me, this right here is your derivative, right? R of t is your rate. And it says after 6 seconds, they're 19.2 meters cubed. Not per second, but meters cubed. So that seems to me that the if I look at um, the y-axis for R of t is, a, is a meters cubed per second, the x-axis is seconds. So if I multiply those, I get meters cubed, which makes sense. So it's my integral. So this represents a y value on the original function, okay? Um, and this is, of course, the derivative. The derivative is r of t, and then the volume would be v of t, because this is a flow rate, okay, water flowing into. Okay, so I know that at 6 seconds, they're 19.2. So how do I figure out how much water there was after 13 seconds? Well, I know at 6, there's 19.2, plus I need to add the accumulation between 6 and 13. What is the accumulation between 6 and 13? It's the area under the curve between 6 and 13. So to do this, I've got 192 Plus, I need to get the accumulation, which I can get, so I'm going to go through this with you, I can get it two ways. I can get the integral by hitting second and window, right, and selecting number four, or I can go math, go up, function, integrate. Oops, I need to do that. So what is it? It was 19.2 plus, and I'll do it with alpha window. And number four, function integrate. And I'm going to integrate it from six seconds up to 13 seconds. And here's the function. Function is 31 times by second function e to the negative bracket x minus 10 close bracket squared. And of course, it's I'm integrating with respect to x. Okay, so then I hit equals, and altogether, I've got 74 cubic meters of water, 74.1454 meters cubed of water. So notice it was 19.2 at six seconds, and then I add this accumulation between six and 13 to get a final answer. Okay, folks, so 19.2 at 6 seconds, and then I have to add the area under the curve to that between 6 and 13. And since I'm going to the right, it's positive from 6 to 13. Okay, and that would be my answer. And now what I'd like you to do is, you can probably turn this off and redo this question, or you can try um, this question here with snow is falling at this rate and then uh, do the same, you would have to solve the same problem, uh, the same, use the same strategy. Okay, hope that helps. Have a good night.